easy to find either, you know, having to go upstairs and down the hallway and all that other stuff. Let's see what we got in the house. One G up. Callista. Let's see. Mar, there you go. Oh, you got company today? Go over to me. Margie's got a full house. Why can't I get myself to be the biggest? There we go. Thank you. Was that so hard? My goodness. Number you? Yes, uh, yes. How are you doing? Use in, if, in TV land, if you can just give us another minute or two. I don't know if you can hear me. Okay. Tammy. You guys are so quiet today. All right. That's what I came here for. All righty. Um, anybody out there in TV land, if you can hear me, uh, let me know if you can hear me with or just give me a thumbs up. We can hear okay. you, Gail. Uh, all right. Awesome. Thank you. All right, so any request? <clears throat> you can always hear a pin drop when you ask that question. All right, so we are going to start, let's start um, on our backs with our legs in the air. It's a great way to um, yep, clear out all your breathing holes. <laughs> Safe to do that. All right. Oh, I see some new faces here. Um, so welcome to Kula. Well, at least new to me, if you're not new to Kula. Um, thank you for joining us here. Um, my name is Gail. And I uh, consider myself to be the playful yogi. <laughs> There's a lot of love yogis out there. Um, I'm the playful one. I like, to, I like to use humor as much as I possibly can to, to help push energy as much as our breath. You know, things I, I save my crying for at home. That's another mover of energy. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking on the way here, if 2020, for me personally, if, if this year was a sound, it would be, uh. <laughs> So, and I jokingly like said, you know, I would love to just teach a, like an angry yoga class, you know, just get it out. <laughs> so it's, it's been very frustrating, I think, year. And that's, that's the sound that, and it comes from deep, right? And I think a lot of us get, we don't want to feel it, you know, but we're, we are, you know, and even if you're not, it's around you. It's a very sticky energy. Yes, by the way, 
um, why don't you do this too? If you have a block or a roller or something, stick it underneath your butt. And that kind of helps a little bit. It helps kind of prop it up. Your legs kind of hang out there a little easier. Now, I also just want you to take notice if one leg is a little bit shorter than the other. Try not to fix it first. Most people, we have one side that's a little bit, a little bit short. And it's not that you're func uh, structurally that way. It's, it's a functional thing um, with some tightness that we carry in our midsection usually, in the hips, lower back. So start to come into the breath, making that deeper. That's where we begin that practice, right? Same. Greeting yourself into the day. And I start to feel the, the rib cage expand when you take those big breath breaths in, right? You can take an image of one of those older yogis who've been practicing for a while. We've seen some of them. Their rib cages are huge, tiny little waist usually, but a huge rib cage. So they can really get the full capacity of oxygen down into their lungs. So we're gonna go for that today. I like to <laughs> go a little bit deep. So let's take a moment here and actually bring our legs out wide. So they're more a little straddle. It's a great way to start to get, oh, I, someone even got a pop right away. Yes, that's kind of what we're looking for there. And you might even feel like some sensations in your legs, like you could feel the energy kind of like draining down. This is a great way to give yourself a little boost throughout the day instead of a cup of coffee. You just do this for about five minutes and it totally re-energizes you. So let's take a few more here. I like what that you're doing there. I can't see your face, but she's actually kicking out through her heels. Her legs are really active. And I like what Kaylee's doing here. We're adding some organicness to our practice, rocking her hips a little bit back and forth from side to side. Just a little wiggle, wiggle. I do this in my roller classes. So let's take a couple of more breaths here together, create a nice group energy. When we creep, agree, create a group energy, that is so powerful. So exhale all the air out. Maybe even lift your legs straight on up, inhale. And exhale, maybe slowly lower the leg straight down in front of you, get that stretch through the front of the thighs and then inhale, engaging the core, lifting the legs back up. Exhale, lowering them back down. One more time, inhale them up. Maybe even bring them out nice and wide for a moment and then back together and then lower them back down. And then just go ahead and hug your knees back in. Whatever is underneath your butt, go ahead and remove it and give yourself a great big hug. Hug it out here. Maybe you'll even a little rock from side to side. Yes, I like it. And then releasing the knees, but finding the outsides of the feet. Is it a cranky baby or a happy baby this morning? And even here, there's a yep, little rocking from side to side. Let's go back to the beginning here. And then go ahead and release those legs. We're gonna go back up into the air once again. And you're gonna bring your hands out like a T with your palms facing down. And then go ahead and dip your legs over to the left and take a look to the right. Inhale, engaging that core, lifting the legs back up as you dip them over to the right and take a look to the left. You go slow enough, there's some adjustments in there. And then inhale them back on up and lowering them back on down to the floor. As you inhale your arms up and slowly exhale and Pilates roll yourself up nice and slow. You totally cheated, you totally cheated. You totally cheated. You know what, he, he cheated, we have to do it again. Lower it down. <laughs> so flex your feet back towards you. And slowly, right? Keep the heart lifted. And actually, it helps when you bring your arms out like a ball. Oh, I haven't done this in a while. I'm getting a little soft. So inhale, right? I'm engaging my legs, my belly button. I'm pressing down through my tailbone. The exhale. 
holding his breath. I don't even have to look at him. So there we go, forward fold here, right? And if the neck and the shoulders are what need love from you today, forego the feet and interlace your hands behind the back of your head for a few. And if you want a little more for the lower back, you just bend your knees. We'll get into the hamstrings soon enough. Take one more breath. Let your arms just be heavy. There you go. We hold tension when we don't even realize we're doing it. And that's mostly what yoga is about, just to bring that awareness. All right, exhale it out. Let's get a little pumping going on in here. Let's roll it back and forth three times. Crisscross your feet. And however you make your way into a down dog, and give it a nice little pedal here. Just a good way to start to shake things up just a little bit. Come up nice and high on your tippy toes. And take a look up at your belly button while you're at it. Bend the knees nice and deep. Start to engage those arms a little more. Inhale, lift the hips up. Exhale, press the heels down. Maybe even try to lift up your toes. And slowly take a little walk. Let your feet come to meet your hands. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale, halfway. Oh, that was a nice big breath. Exhale, fold. Next inhale, unfurls your spine nice and slow. Roll it up. Circle those arms up overhead. Maybe even take a little bit of a back bend. This is just my imagery, my little ritual. You're welcome to enjoy me as I bring the palms together. I like to just close my eyes as I draw down my divine guidance for my day here today. I need help just like everybody else. And it's out there, but you have to ask. So take a deep breath. What's your intention for your practice here today? And all that simply is, is what you want to bump into when you leave here. The universe heard you. Take a big breath right up from the bottoms of your feet here, grounding down. Exhale it, release it right back out through those feet. Go ahead and open your eyes, release your hands. Let's do this. Inhale your arms up. Take a back bend. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, stepping it back or hopping if you're ready. Find your high plank. So I'm doing plankfulness. And I haven't done this one in a while. So I thought we'd play together. This helps us play with our brains as well. So pick up your left foot. Now pick up your right arm. Bring that forward. Now try to drop your butt down. <laughs> and then go ahead, set them both down. Take a breath. Let it out. Take up the right leg. All right, find your stability. Zip your inner thighs together and then pick up your left arm. We want to bring it out a little wider for more, but bring it, zip it in. Drop the butt down, unclench the jaw. Go ahead and set it down. Slowly lower yourself. I just wanted to build up a little bit of heat. Inhale your up dog, but if you're not ready for that, come into Cobra. You decide. If you're in Cobra, you can come down for a moment. Our up dogs are gonna take a left hip dip and take a look to the right. Cobras, you can come up for round two. Come on back to center. Take a breath. Engage everything once again. Check your core, right hip dips. And take it back to center. Look up. Drop down to your knees. Come up onto your fingertips as you reach back through your tailbone. And get nice and long. Big, nice, long, deep breath, breath in. Longer, deeper, exhale out. That's where the letting go happens. Beautiful job. Inhale into a tabletop. 
Exhale, left arm comes back, right arm forward. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, bring that elbow and the knee together. Inhale, bring it long once again. Exhale, ground it down and bring it out wide. Set that leg down. And then inhale, bring yourself up. Grounding down through that right knee, but lifting up through the rib cage. Ooh, strong leg too. My foot is very engaged. Take one more. It's a wonderful side body stretch. Beautiful. Inhale it up. Left hand comes down. Left leg comes back. Right arm comes forward. Exhale. Right hand comes back to find that left foot. Take three. One more. Beautiful. Release it. Drop it down. Let's inhale, inhale into a cow. Exhale, round it out, angry cat. Inhale back to neutral, right leg back, left arm forward. Exhale, that elbow and knee come together. Inhale, get low. Exhale, bring it out wide. And challenge yourself at the end. Can you lift it a little higher and bring it a little more forward? Yes, big inhale up. And exhale, bring it over, start to work it. Take it in slices, right? Can't get it all in one breath. Inhale, right hand comes back down as the right leg comes back, left arm forward. Exhale, finding the top of the right foot. And take three. Kicking. Pulling, I'm pressing down through the left shin as well as the right hand. One more. Oh, pull the belly in, don't sink through the core and release. Drop it down. Inhale into that cow one more time. Maybe there's even a little booty shake for it. Exhale, round it out. And let's try that down dog on for size once again. Hopefully that feels a little better for you now. Whew. Inhale your right leg up. We're gonna take a moment, and just let the foot drop behind you, reach up through the knee and circle it around. Did I confuse you by getting up? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> See what you got going on in there. This isn't easy to do and talk at the same time. So I'll take a few breaths. <laughs> it's okay. Now, Take a big inhale, reach back, maybe even pretend to poke that person over to that side. Exhale, now square your hips off and curl your knee in and tap your nose, engaging that core a little more. Beautiful, Gabrielle, inhale it up. Take a nice, don't you want a big breath there? Now exhale, contract it out, squeeze. One more time, inhale it up. Exhale, curl it in and squeeze it out. And shift it forward, release that foot between your hands, release that back leg, the foot. Let's get into the arms a little bit as you interlace the hands behind the back. Gives you that opportunity to really ground down through those legs as that right heel presses down and back. Left knee down and forward. Exhale it out and release those hands, straighten that right leg, taking your half monkey here. Those angles you can play with here. Usually turning the foot out, you'll find a little something that you might not find when the leg is just straight in front of you. And when you're ready, if you found something good, feel free to just take a few more breaths. You can meet us over in our dragon when you're ready. She heel toe that foot on out to the side. So there's arm balance here too, for anybody who wants to play with that. I always like to just throw that out there, make the practice your own. 
see if I can do it. There you go. You know what it is. Do you know what it is? There you go. You're almost, you're there. You got it. You make yourself, you get that shoulder under, create a little table out of your arms. You tilt yourself forward and you try to straighten the legs. <laughs> if you get your, you have to get this arm under here so you can create a table. See how close my arms are together so I can get my body on there. You continue to play, <laughs> right? There you go, Kaylee. Nice, very good. I think that might be running man, yes. All righty. So take one more. I give extra time in this pose anyway, just to, get to help you really get a little bit deeper into those hips. Exhale it out. When heel toe that foot on in, flip over your back toes and just straighten that leg. Keep a nice long stance here if you can. So like a longer pyramid pose here. Inhale halfway. And just pick that back foot up and bring it about a, I don't know, six, eight inches closer. Length comes back in the spine. Exhale, fold it forward. Do that one more time. Inhale, bring it just a little closer. Re-engage everything. Exhale, fold. Now grab a hold of that right ankle. Tell yourself, I trust myself and just float that left leg up into the air. There you go. Spot. Just focus on one spot on the floor. That's part of the meditation as well. Now, you got this. Float it up into a warrior three. You can bring your hands at your waist if you want to. Now, let's bend that right knee softly, reach back with the left foot, and come into a crescent lunge. Very good. So sometimes the feet don't always land where they need them. Fix it. There you go. That way you can really work the pose. Let's get that inner thigh to engage a little more by rotating that left arm back. There's a tendency for that right knee to want to collapse in. Oh, oh try to bring it out. Reach back a little bit more with that right hand. Beautiful job. And just tilt yourself down. That left hand's gonna come down inside the right foot. And maybe you just heel toe that foot out to the side so you can get a better bend in the leg with better contact with the hand. Reason being, we're about to flip it into a side plank. You need good contact. So ground down through that left hand, make that right leg nice and light and float it on up for your side plank. Reaching forward gives you a little more of a side body stretch. Right hand comes down, back to our high plank. Left leg raises, right arm raises. For three, two, one more. Set it down and take a breath. Fill your cup up. Rinse it out. Right leg, left arm. One more, come back up with me. We're strong, one more. So important what you tell yourself. Left hand comes down, leg comes down, high to low. Take your flow. Especially here on our mats. Find your down dog, give it a pedal. Beautiful. Inhale that left leg up nice and high. Do you hear? What do you got going on on that side? Bending that knee, reaching back. Opening up through that belly, the psoas, those hip flexors, that front pocket area. Get in there today. 
All right, take one more breath, reach it back. Exhale, square it off. Curl that knee in and tap your nose. Inhale it up. Exhale, contract it out. One more time, reach up. Exhale. Shift it forward, release the foot, release the back knee and foot. And maybe this side you grip with the, the opposite pinky. Notice how odd it feels, like you're holding someone else's hand. Find their grounding, rooting, and then also at the same time raising, lifting that heart center up. Exhale. Release that grip, straighten your leg, and take your half monkey on this side. One more, unless you found something good, you can hang out there longer. As we make our way into our dragon on the other side. There's all sorts of things that can be done actually. That's why I think I give so much time in it. Um, reaching back and grabbing that back foot is a real great way to open up that front pocket area. Getting the IT band stretched by coming to the side of the leg. I have to have a very active leg there. He's really kicking out through that heel. And I even have my hip lifted up and I'm curling back. And after a few of them, then I see, oh, now I feel a little warmer. Can I get into that arm balance? We'll take a couple of more. There you go, exhale it out. Onto your hands, heel toe that foot in, just flipping over that back toe. Nice long pyramid here. Inhale halfway, we step a little closer, scan everything, re-engage and fold. Inhale a little closer. Exhale, fold. As you grab a hold of that ankle and float that right leg on up into the air. One more. There you go. Now, micro bend the knee. Really press down through the inseam of that foot, float it up. Even my hands and my hips really keeps me honest because I can feel if that right side is tilted up too high. And that's where the challenge lies, right? Dropping that outer right hip down a little bit. Beautiful work. Left foot, uh, left leg bends, right foot reaches back. Oof. Um, Crescent lunge. <laughs> oh. See, there's the, oh, there's the sound again. <laughs> what would your sound for 2020 be? Let me hear it. Left arm rotates back, right arm forward. See what that does to those inner thighs? Really makes them work. Woo. You need to test your dristy by looking at your back hand. Sounds silly, but can be challenging. And then just tilt yourself down. And take, yes, that extra point of contact feels so good. So use it here. What that, what's your right leg doing? How far is it dipped really down? Or are you paying attention to what's happening there as well? Rounding down and flipping into your side plank on this side. There's also a tendency to have the butt, I just caught myself, my butt way out. That's cheat these. Press your pelvis forward. 
Yes. Ooh, one more. Left hand comes down, high plank. Left leg raises, right arm raises for five. Don't take yourself out of the practice. Four. I am strong is what you should be saying. Three. This also helps set up new patterns and new uh, connectors in the brain. One more. Ooh, go ahead and bring it down. Take a breath. You know how easy plank is now? <laughs> All right, other side, right leg, left arm, five. One more. I'm with you. Left hand down, high, low. Up dog. I'll tell you what, yogi choice. Take a child's pose or take a dolphin. Or practice some kickups if you'd like to. Don't abandon the breath, if anything, here. Ooh, feel your heartbeat right here. Ooh, so strong. Raise vibration. Take a moment. What was your intention? Let's feed that some consciousness with that strong heartbeat here. Our heart energies are so powerful. So, so, so powerful. Maybe you feel like you need that a little cleaned out. We're about to be hanging out with family. <laughs> that brings up all sorts of stuff. So let's clear our hearts out. Clear our minds, our ears. It's our responsibility. When we do this practice, we start to undertake it. There is a responsibility that comes with this. Really try to be that piece. Take one more breath, right? Be the observer. So many people we disagree, you know, so many disagreements. Can you just be in disagreement, allow it? Take one more breath. I mean, exhale it out. Beautiful. Go ahead and roll over your toes. Find your down dog. Give it a nice soft pedal. Inhale that right leg up. Exhale, curl it into your nose. We're gonna up the game a little here. You're gonna tap that right elbow. Look at Kaylee going up to the armpit over there. Bring it over to the left elbow. And then drop it down to the wrist and then bring it back to the other wrist. And now you're gonna do that four more times. What? This is how I sneak core in on you. Nobody ever asked for core anymore in my classes. Why not? <laughs> so we're gonna end on that left side and straighten that leg underneath that arm. And just a little rotation through those legs for a little wild thing here. Beautiful. Left hand comes down. There's an opportunity for a side push up here. I inhale down and use the exhale as my power to get back up. Inhale that right leg back on up. And yogi choice here. You drop that foot behind you and flip your dog or you drop to that left knee and just come into a reverse tabletop. Some people can't do the flipping of the dog. It's all good, there's something for everybody here. Take one more breath. Beautiful, inhale, flip it back over. Keep that leg in the air, exhale, bring that foot through for warrior one. But we're gonna interlace our hands behind our back once again, give ourselves an opportunity to stretch that out again. And do some heart openers today here, as well as the hips. Or maybe even, I don't know why, for some poses I just close my eyes and I just go in. Go deep today. Right? Maybe even see green. That is the heart center's color, that emerald green. Exhale, bring it over.
Take your humble warrior. Take one more. Beautiful. Now release it on the inhale. Big inhale brings you up. And the exhale opens you up for your warrior two. Check on that. I haven't noticed myself doing that in a while. Are your front toes gripping? Pick them up. Fan them out wide and place them down and try and find the whole inseam line of your leg. And you find that a little deeper by energetically trying to draw that right heel back toward the left foot and the left foot forward toward the front one. Take a sun warrior from here. Try to stay lifted on that right side. Contract the left a little bit, work the obliques. Exhale, bring you over for your side angle. I haven't done this in a while either. So there's a, a bind and there's also a balancing posture here, which I have not tried in a while. So I'm gonna give it a try. I even haven't done it so long, I forgot the name of it. What? <laughs> That's true, if you don't use it, you lose it. Wow, okay, Gail's gotta get her practice back. Holy cow, take one more breath. Whew, yes, if you're up, come down, straighten that leg. Take your triangle, that should feel good from there. Beautiful. Take one more and see if you can't even spin your torso toward the ceiling a little more. Top arm comes over the body. Just flip that back foot forward. Keep it long once again. We'll do that long pyramid. Inhale, come another little bit closer. Exhale, take your fold. You can plant that left hand or find the block because this is not about touching the floor. This is about the length in your spine as you take your evolved triangle here. So left arm down, right arm up. There you go. You need a block. Why aren't you using a block? <laughs> that time I did yell at someone. Someone accused me of yelling at them. <laughs> Where's your block? All right, let's get into a little more floating around. So put all that body weight into that right foot and float that left leg on up into the air. There's different things you can do here. Like maybe that right hand wants to grab the left foot. Just taking a bind, getting a little, nice little added little stretch to that left leg. This helps you play with your proprioceptive awareness, your $10 word for the day. So if you took that bind, you can release it. And you're gonna open the hips up into a half moon this time. Or the left hand can find or the left foot if it wants to and give that a kick. Square it back off, release that bind if you took it. Take your warrior three once again. And one more time, we'll bend that right knee, reach back with the left foot and come into our crescent lunge. Hands come through your heart. This time we're gonna take a little twist. That left elbow is gonna find the right knee. Planting that left hand down once again on the inside of that right foot. Taking a couple of here. And when you feel nice and grounded, flip yourself into your side plank. 
one more time. Ooh, beautiful, yes, shaking good. Right hand comes down high. Oh, we'll just take a regular flow, low. Inhale, you're up dog. You're welcome to reverse your chaturanga on the way out before you find your down dog. Beautiful work. One more side and we'll do some stretching. Inhale that left leg up. <coughs> Exhale, curl it into your nose, squeeze. Now shifting it forward to that left elbow and then the right one and making your rectangles there. Yep, I only hear one person breathing. Is everybody holding their breath? <laughs> this is where we gotta really breathe it out. Don't hold it in. Yep, straight it on that right, right, right arm. Now's your opportunity, right? To open up through that, especially if it's feeling like kind of cramped, right? Open it up. Breathe right down into the pit of your belly. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful, that right hand comes down, side push up if you choose to take it. As you lift that leg in the air and uh, flip your dog or tabletop. There it is. Yes, ah, oh, she found the floor with the, see if you can't reach for the floor. A little closer, yes. Good for you back there, Christine. Beautiful, flip it over, keep that leg in the air and bring it through for those warrior one legs. All right, going from chaos and now, see if you can't, how quickly can you calm yourself down? Taking perhaps a little back bend here. Bringing it over for your humble warrior. Really let the head go. Look at, take a look at your right inner thigh. Engage it. Squeeze those hands, bring them a little more over your head. Beautiful, exhale. Release on the inhale, bring it up nice and up. As the exhale opens you up for your warrior two, right? Just shimmying those feet. You really want to be able to feel grounded and that you can energetically draw those feet together. Pull a bandha pulled up, Uddiyana bandha, right? Curled up and in like a backwards C. Soft vision. Taking your sun warrior. I tend to cut my hand behind my neck. That's like this feeling of reaching up through the elbow. It gives me a deeper stretch along the side of that rib cage there. All right, your lungs are in there. Open up some space. Exhale, takes you for your side angle on the other side. Binding, flying, or not. Definitely breathing. Yeah, thank you, use your, now it's so much more effective, right? Beautiful, good job, nice straight leg, almost. Nice, when you're ready, you can come down, straighten that leg and take your dessert triangle. Yep, you got it. Beautiful. What's going on? Hand, hand comes over, right? We'll take that long pyramid. So just flipping those right toes forward. Get nice and long through the spine. Maybe even give your knee a little kiss. <laughs> and bring it a little closer. Take a nice big breath and let it go. 
And then we'll continue that rotation to the left, the right hand, find your block. Okay, or maybe just like the tips of your fingers, you feel like that gives you the length that you need. Core is strong. Your obliques are really working, trying to spin toward the ceiling. While, while you're watching her, trying to square her hips. She's, re, she's going deep, I can tell by the micro adjustments she's, she's working here. All righty. So just go ahead and put all that body weight into that left leg as you float your right leg up. So it's a revolved half moon first. So we're still trying to rotate toward that left side. Challenge is like, what the heck is the right leg doing up there, right? Without looking at it, I kick out through the heel and internally rotate the foot a little bit. You'll feel that outer right hip drop down. You'll also feel your inner thighs fire up. So nice and slow, plant through that left foot as you rotate and open those hips like a book now into your half moon. Square it off, four or three. Even here, if the hands are at the hips, squeezing the elbows together helps you increase the strength right, and open that heart a little more. And then just bending that left leg, reaching back with the right foot, finding your crescent lunge once again. Arms come through your heart as you take your twist to the other side. Right. Always drop to the knee if you need to. Right. Leave your ego out the door. Take one more breath. Ooh, time flies. And go ahead and bring that right hand down on the inside. That left arm reaches up. Turn your back foot a little more forward. You know, more forward and come onto your toe. Yeah, there you go. And you can even bring it out a little wider. There, see, isn't that easier? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is gonna help actually, believe it or not. It will over time. Um, what are we doing? Oh, we're flipping, side plank. How did, oh, you're confusing me, you're really confusing me. Oh, you are, <laughs> you're a hair out of square. All right, one more breath. See if you can't lift those hips a little higher. Oh, press that pelvis a little forward, squeeze your butt. There it is, nice. Left hand comes down, take your flow. And you're welcome to add push-ups or anything else you'd like here. Nice tucked in elbows, Kaylee, that was very, very nice. Bending the knees here. I haven't done this in a little while. It just helps us start to get comfortable with hopping a little bit. So you're in your down dog. Oh, make sure I don't knock a tooth out here with this thing. We're gonna look forward as we bend our knees. Take a look at where your feet are. And you're gonna try and just land like an inch or two until you get to your hands. We'll just try to throw the butt up and try to land nice and softly too. Until you get to your hands and Nice, find your squat. I don't know if you want a little more. For your core, you can bring your hands out front. A little meditation I do here. I'm really trying to start to open up and rinse out that pelvic bowl. All right, because it is, that's what it's called, the pelvic bowl. All right, so turn your breath into water here. 
right? And forget about the lungs here. Just imagine that water is going all the way down the spine into your pelvic bowl. Maybe you can see it swoosh as it gets in there. And then the exhale, that's the rinsing out part. Let's take five. Ula bunda up, belly button in here. But the tailbone is very much reaching down. Four more. Not moving, we should be able to breathe deeper. Three more. Check on your jaw, no clenching. Two more. One more. Good work. And you might want to take a moment and just straighten the legs before we go into a little bit of play time working on crows and fireflies and headstands and handstands and whatnot. So feel free to take a moment and just stretch the legs. And if nothing else, just give crow a try. Keys, right, to getting that nice solid foundation with the curl. Get your finger as much surface area of your hand. Spread your fingers out wide. Trying to get the knees up as high on the backs of the arms as possible. And you start with just lifting one foot after the other until you can get them both together. And if your face plants, let it. Maybe even drop the, the crown of your head onto the floor. Are you okay? Okay. This way you say, there was somebody injured that in the class one day and I didn't say anything for like 10 minutes because I didn't realize. Okay. 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 All right. You back to back. There you go, girl. And if you want a little more core. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, take my car and I do body work. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts so good. I use cups. I have this little zapper thing. We have a chiropractor in the house. So you want to practice your pikes? Go ahead and lower those legs. Straight down toward the floor. Tap your toes to the floor. And now bring them back up. Oh, shaking good. <laughs> Go ahead and lower again. Exhale, breathe, breathe, breathe. Yes, now that is deep, isn't it? How deep do you feel that? Like deep. We go deep, homeboy. Go ahead, one more. Third time's a charm, lift it. You got it, yes! Oh, sorry at home, I just yelled in here. Hey, Gail, I think we lost you. There you go, unmuted, video back, okay. Sorry guys, I caught it this time though. So what did I just say? Let's come back into a squat. And let's just revisit how that feels. Because usually the second time around, you know, ah, this doesn't feel so bad this time. All right, get into it a little bit deeper and we'll take five more breaths. And if you are feeling rounded in your upper back with this posture, this is a great way to start to not reinforce the roundedness of the upper back. It's called kyphotic, kyphosis. Let's take three more. Two more. And one more. 
All right, I got a little treat for you. Come on up, bring your arms straight out in front of you. We don't even need a block. And come up, just come back down a little. There, find that sweet spot. Now tuck the pelvis under here. And imagine you're squeezing a block together instead of wanting to come apart. Now breathe. Three. Come on, we can do anything for three breaths. Two. One more. Go ahead and bring it on up. <laughs> and fold it forward. And keep the legs pointed out like that to start. Don't even move your legs. Just kind of be with the sensation. It shakes up. Ooh, it shakes up a lot. Take a moment to even close your eyes. Take your head a little yes and no here. Take the tension out of your head and your face. Inhale, halfway, rotate your toes so they're really, really pigeon-toed. You're welcome to even keep them lifted up and fold. Inhale, halfway, rotate your heels. The toes point out. You can still keep them lifted. And you can even take your hands behind the backs of your calves if you want to. If you wanna unfold. One more time, inhale halfway. This time the big toe. Hey, maybe there's a little space between the feet, but feet face forward. Exhale, fold. And you can bend that right knee and place the right hand under your nose. Lift the left arm up. Make a little more of a twist here. Maybe even, even exaggerate the lean into that left hip. And go ahead and switch it on out. Beautiful. Exhale. Don't hold anything. We worked so hard to get here. And fold. Your next inhale or three inhales and exhales. Slowly unfurl. Ooh whole new person. Circle those arms up over your head. Maybe take a little back bend. Might not be quite ready for that just yet. Exhale, flat back, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step or hop it back. Take your flow. And let's see, I want to give you a shoulder. So we have two shoulder injuries. Is it front of shoulder or back shoulder? Back of shoulder. Okay, so let's drop it down to the knees. And for the back of the shoulder. So I want you to play with this pose. So we're going to take that right arm and thread it underneath the left one. Now the key to getting a little bit of a deeper stretch here is to really <coughs> press your left forearm down into that mat. Press it down. And then energetically draw it back behind you there. And even lean your butt to that right side, but you're still reaching with that right hand to the left. When you're ready, I mean, obviously if this is a side that's hurting for you, hang out there a little longer and you come on into the other side when you're ready. Yep, a deeper version of this is what Kaylee's doing there. She's just laying straight on down on both of them. What the heck is this? Threw a commercial in on there. Shame on them. There we go. Obviously, if this is your injured side, what are you saying to it right now? Right? I love you. <laughs> I'm in perfect health. You know, and again, I'm going to repeat it. And I hope you don't get tired of hearing it. We are so such powerful creators. We really are. And what we tell ourselves is what we are. 
So make those power statements. Yes. Oh, I felt that one. Take one more breath. Now let it out. Right? Remind others of their power as well. It can be easy to get kind of caught up in the fear of things these days. It's the lowest vibration there is. Let's up our game here. All right, slowly make your way out. Beautiful. Yeah, maybe come on to the belly. Maybe we'll get the other angle of the arm. And I like to encourage a bent arm. So coming into a little more of the left side of your mat so you can roll onto the right shoulder, but half of a goal post out of your arm. You don't roll as far back, but it, it really pinpoints the pec minor muscle. And that, believe it or not, is located Um, no, you don't have to do that, but bring your arm up a little and put your palm down. There you go. <laughs> and <laughs> the thing about this, oh, yep, you two over there. What are you doing? Bring your arm back that way. Palm down. Yep. And now roll. You feel that now? Yes. Now what that bent elbow does, oh, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, it's connected to your scapula, which is in the back, believe it or not. It goes through this little groove in your shoulder. What is that called? The coracoid process, Doc? I do know, I, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I like to whip out the anatomy words. Like, this is our home, right? This is our home and we know so little about it. When I was going to school for this, I'm like, why didn't I learn this in school? <laughs> This is my house, right? So, and, it, and I was never really taught to be friends with it either, right? To really be in tune and in touch. And that's the beauty of what this practice has given me and the practice of uh, body work. So take one more. And I mean it, say I love my shoulder. <laughs> okay, okay. And when you're ready, make your way over to the other side. And you take a stop on a little pause, you know, before you, if you need a moment just to let that sink in for a bit, all right? Oh, no rush. <laughs> I once challenged a, I had a, a very arrogant doctor as a client once who just thought I gave good rub down. And I was like, man, I am going to get this guy so good one day. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to challenge, I challenged him to a, you know, like an anatomy test. <laughs> blew him away, blew him out of the water. I said, would you please stop saying that now? He goes, he goes, you do know your stuff. So we're probably one of the most underrated professions out there. But I tell you what, people are craving touch right now. I never really thought I'd be in this kind of a position with my work. So let's let's bring some gratitude in here, which by the way, you're gonna have me for Thursday and Friday, as well as Christmas and New Year's. I'm teaching all the holidays this year. So I hope to bring some smiles your way. Take another breath. Let it go. Work. As you take a little moment in between, maybe ask yourself what pose you would like to end your class with for you. What do you need here? I'm sure somebody needs some sort of hip opener of some sort. So, you know, there's frog, there's uh, splits, um, gait, any one of the pigeons that you would like to take on your back, on your belly, 90 and 90. That's my go-to. This is the last one. Well, you could, if you want to squeeze two in, we got about, I got about, about three minutes with you before I have to put you into Savasana. So I like to offer this open, you know, time for you because I always see people doing something different. You know, we all need a little something different for ourselves. Or maybe you're done. You're like, you know what, I'm doing. <laughs> All 
There you go. Spinal twists. Yes, we're so nice and warm right now. That's the perfect thing. And even, even if you do that, you can take this pose, whatever pose you're in, and then just before you settle in, take that spinal twist. Maybe you finally just kind of get that little adjustment that you've been looking for. And I also like to remind people to you know, think about your intention again here. Because the only way we can bring our intentions to fruition, right, is to bring consciousness to them. Think about them. What we think about is what we attract. We'll take three more if you're doing a one-sided, whatever. One more, one more for luck. Beautiful. As you make your way into either another pose or the other side. We will be live streaming, I believe too. So if you can't make it to the studio and the family starts to Get interested in yoga, put us on in the house. <laughs> Get the Zoom app, put us on in the house and let the whole family practice. It looks like Marky's got his son going up there. We got somebody in the room over there. Oh, where'd she go? She blacked herself out again. Uh, good work, it, it feels lighter in this room already. All right, so take a few more. And start to make your way to your savasana. And I really mean it when I say this. Give yourself a go me, you know, a little pat on the back. If this was easy, everybody would be doing it. So the hardest part of your day you have already accomplished. And that deserves a little pat on the back. There you go. <laughs> uh, so get comfy here. And believe it or not, there is even like a little bit of an alignment you want to look out for here in your savasana. So if you take a moment and you, you pick your, your shoulder blades up and you put them together like a little cradle right behind the heart, it flattens the back out. And usually have to just kind of let your legs be off duty too, right? Everything has got complete permission off duty. Now let's even take a moment here and open up our mouth nice and wide and stretch that out here. So much tension gets held in our jaw. Exhale all the air out. And inhale for the count of five, four, three. Let your belly puff out, ooh, the belly. Two, one, little hold. Now exhale purposely and intentionally knit that rib cage together, squeeze it out. And again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Fill it up, hold it, take in this zero point.
Now let it go.
The power of gratitude never wanes. And the haunting music of amazing grace followed me throughout my travels. I heard it first in the rustic cabin I rented in Arizona. The music from a distant flute wound through the air, filling it like incense and filling me with peace. The next time I heard music was an old Motana hotel. The notes were clear this time as the soothing melody drifted across the courtyard. Then, near the forest in Washington, I heard the hymn once again, and again played on a flute. The notes rang out. The melody filled the air, and gratitude flooded my soul. Amazing Grace is following me, I thought. And I thought again, I said, no, Grace wasn't following me. Grace had found me. The power of gratitude never wanes. Say it when you feel it. Believe it. And say it when you don't. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Soon you will hear the music too. And that song of grace will touch you with its melody. Amazing, amazing grace. Grace is a powerful, <laughs> powerful energy as well as gratitude. So try to infuse yourself with as much as you, that as you can, you know, not just for the, 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 through this holiday season, but just making it a habit. I truly hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I hope to see you on Thursday. We yeah, re de detox to retox, so to speak. And, uh, have a great day out there. Namaste. Have a great day, TV land. Thank you, Lester.